Okay, let's see about recruiting more party members if possible. Sure. Did we try the smithy yet? I don't think we did. Okay, whenever you hear my dog bark, pretend that's this little dog following us. Uh, ta Tuatanu. Oh no, not Tuatanu. This uh, Omawa man is of an impressive build, towering above the countertop. His skin is the dusky blue of the deeper oceans, and his thick arms boast corded muscle. I wish we could hire him. Small ears frame a square-jawed face coated in smeared soot and arcing black tattoos alike. He offers you a broad smile as you approach. Welcome, you're the first new face I've seen in quite some time. What can I do for you? Is this your shop? That it is. Been here near on 20 years now. Seen all manner of things over the years. Good luck and bad. Tuatanu glances at the guard standing watch along the wall, but the black hammer smithery remains. What do you have here? You come to us at a strange time, I'm afraid. The stock's not what it used to be, but we find weapons and armor to offer yet. All forged right here at the black, ha at the black hammer. What happened? We just don't have the supplies. Been expecting the next delivery for near on a week now and haven't seen a sign of it. I have to expect they, they were hit hard by bandits. The road out east is crawling with them. Or my workers ran off with the wagon themselves, maybe, to make some coin, Tuatana retorts. As if that would as if that lot would dare. He's right about the bandits. The dire situations in villages like this and the exodus to the cities has created far too many opportunities for the unscrupulous. Tuatanu scratches his jaw, thinking, If you happen to be headed that way, maybe you can keep an eye out for a supply wagon, or my shipment at least. They've been cutting through the Black Meadow, I expect. Only good road for it. As it is, most of our weapons go to his grace, Lord Redrick. Tuatanu glances at the nearby guard. And that's as it should be, but it doesn't leave much for outsiders. We just don't have the iron. An iron shortage. Does that ring a bell? Um, where was the wagon traveling from? We, sent, we send the wagon up to New Homer with weapons, and it swings around through Log Home and the like for to purchase supplies. Shortest route back is through the Black Meadow, and then north through the wilds. Tuatanu shakes his head. Had a trader coming through with word they'd made it to Log Home, but haven't heard a thing since. I'll find your supplies. Tuatanu nods, then you have my thanks. You bring those supplies back, and I'll have plenty more to offer you. A discount to start. Oh, and if you find my workers, tell them to hurry it up and they can take up farming instead. Another quest. Daily Affirmations of Focus and Efficiency. We'll read that off camera. And if it's anything interesting, I'll tell you about it. Dented and dull, these swords look ready for the forge. Okay, I guess we just picked up a quest and that's about it.
we can wrap up the quest with uh, the folks at the windmill, the elf uh, miller. Um, then we can try our luck with, with some combat, but I'd really rather have a fighter with us. Hail, Traveler. Trommel nods a curt greeting. You're back. Have you had any luck with Swaymore? Swainer? I spoke to Swainer. And what did he say? I've convinced him to leave your family in peace. Why, that's really? That's great news. I wasn't sure you'd get through to him. They're out of their minds with drink half the time. I owe you a great debt. Here. He pulls a coin purse from his hip and pushes it toward you. Today's earnings, to show my appreciation. And you can be sure I'll let everyone know what you've done for me. Well, I think we need the money, so... Glad to help. Now we stand a chance of getting through the year. Trumbull nods and smiles broadly. All thanks to you. Safe travels, friend. Okay. Okay. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, where was I before I was interrupted? Um, we just finished that quest. Any place we haven't been to yet. What's way up here? This creature with the flaming hair is, uh, I believe, a godlike. Um, a fire godlike. Alright, let's get back to the tree. Let's go into the temple. Scant, I'm sure the game isn't going to kill us in the temple. Even though we are playing on. Okay, we'll save. A rising sun in this. And the three down stars, the symbols of Eothis. Wurtan, a man lies resting against the wall, lit by the dim illumination of the fading sconces. He has a gaunt, fox-like aspect, and his, fa and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeves soaked with blood. He gives you an anxious glance as you near his as you near, his features twisted with pain. Have a care if you mean to go in. He casts a quick glance toward the doorway to his left. This place is not so empty as I thought. This temple isn't what it used to be, probably for the best, times being as they are. He groans and shifts position, wincing. I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. Not one of the faithful, either. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. He regards you wearily. Maybe you'd have better luck. Better luck with what? The man points a finger upwards. These ruins around us used to be a temple of Eothis, the scattered god. A grand temple, at that. His worshippers would come from all over the Deerwood. From Riadcaris, even. Until the war, of course. Even then, you'd get some of the stubborn ones. The 
the ones that couldn't get it through their heads that their god was dead and gone. Go on. Once the legacy started, Lord Redrick decided he'd been too lenient on the Eothasians. Eothasians. He had his people go in and put them to the sword, left them down there, buried under a heap of rock. After that, Redrick ordered the temple sealed. It's been years like that, up until recently. Lord Redrick hopes that if we er rededicate the temple to a living god, then we'll be forgiven, and the legacy will end, see? He smiles wryly. But until then, the temple is as you see it, unguarded. That's where you come in. Wirtan licks his lips. Those priests, maybe they didn't have a lick of sense between them, but they still didn't deserve to go like that. Chopped down in their god's, in their god's house it doesn't sit right with me. If you can get down there, find their remains, maybe we can finally give them a proper burial. Wirtan breathes out. No small task. There's coin in it for you if you need motivating. Alos' cautious expression softens. A pleasant surprise that someone around here has a shred of respect for the dead. They're long dead. What does it matter what, where they're buried? It's, it's about respect, isn't it? About deserving to be remembered, not just tossed under a pile of rocks and forgotten. He breathes out shakily. I thought it worth the effort giving that to them. Hmm. I take it you aren't supposed to be in here. Wirtan laughs bleakly. Well, I meant to be in and out, nice and quick. I'm not hurting anyone, it's just... Lord Redrick's forbidden anyone having anything to do with the scattered god. It'd be a little harder to explain to him than you. I... It's a good cause, though, isn't it? And you could make some coin in the process. Wait, you want me to bring you some skeletons? I'd bury them where they are if I could. I know it's a little macabre, but if we don't get them out now, Redrick's liable to destroy whatever's left of them. I have some questions first. Yes? Who are you, anyway? Wharton offers you a weak grin. Name's Wharton. I, I've lived in Gilded Vale long enough to remember how grand it used to be. He shrugs and looks away. I used to help the temple sometimes, bring supplies, that's all. Won't Lord Redrick mind us digging up around here? I wouldn't go telling him about it. Lingering in these places, it's no good for anyone. But you do this quick and quiet, and we can do right by those priests without raising a fuss. Any chance there's something down there worth more than some old bones? Probably. Nobody's been through the place since it was sealed up. Well, apart from me, and I didn't know, I didn't touch anything. Any valuables in there, you get first crack at them. I only ask that you do this favor for me while you're at it. I'll find them. Then by the flame I owe you a good turn, but listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long it's crawling with creatures, but if you get past them, the priests would have been down on the lower floor. They'll be there still if, if they're anywhere. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers, switches in the walls, trick sconces, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out and take care down there. I wouldn't want to have to send anyone else after, after your remains. I'll wait here by the stairs and keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up some. I don't think we're ready for this. I'm going to test uh, this wizard out by, um, I guess, uh, some battles in the north. So let's do that. That's where we came from. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Classic.
Let's try the wolf. No, should we try the wolves first? No, let's try the Zorips. Keeping quiet. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. Three of them. Let's save. How may I help? Indeed. Yeah. I? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's unleash a spell. No, let's just attack. Mm. Yes. Curses. Let's see what a Aloth can do. Arcane Assault, two per encounter. Let's do it. Now this spell should not be affecting uh, the party, only the enemies. Yeah. Hi. It's a pretty easy battle. Yes. Okay, we did it. We'll save. You should always use those per encounter abilities because uh. because you can use them unlimited. Sure. I mean, you know, you use the amount per encounter, but they every encounter, you know, you could keep using them up before you use like spells that what that are you know you have to regenerate from rest. And where are you going to rest? You have to have either supplies or you have to be at an inn, so it's inconvenient. The struts and supports are large enough to be the ribs and vertebrae of a dragon. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we did well there. Let's try a harder fight. I think the wolves. Discreet. Sneaking. Okay. Let's just go right in. Let's go. So what do we have here? A young wolf, a young wolf, and a wolf. We'll take out the young wolf first. Hi. Per encounter abilities. We'll do it again.
Meanwhile, he's been injured, so he should have uh, mm. an ability. Okay. We'll use that on the wolf. To weaken it while we... You know what? No. Keep attacking the young wolf until it dies. How may I help? Now we'll use yeah. our our special ability on the on the wolf. And weaken it. Yes. Meanwhile, he has a spell. I guess we can use minor missiles or dazzling lights. No, we'll use magic missile. Oh. That's not very helpful. What happened to his magic missile? I didn't want dazzling lights. Huh. Let's drink the endurance poke. Hi. Okay, I think we've got this. Hi. All right, that was a close one. That was a tougher battle for sure, and I don't think we did it perfectly well. But let's save. Okay. Huh. Right. These aged walls appear to have once encircled this entire glade. Only a small fragment remains, and the stairs leading to the top of the structure have crumbled away. Examine the wall more closely. The heavy bricks are slick with moss, presenting a hindrance to climbing, but the stones themselves seem sturdy enough. Given the right tools, one might easily reach the top. I think I could scale the wall, but I'm not sure about Aloth. Should we try? Let's try. Who will scale it? I will climb it. You find a handhold upon one of the large stones and start to pull yourself up, but the uneven bricks and odd angle of ascent make the climb difficult, and after a short distance your arms begin to burn too fiercely. You are forced to drop back down to the ground. If I can't do it, Alos can't do it. So let's see if we can mark our map. Oh, these are runes. No, no way to mark the map. 
Should we try to kill some bandits? We need what's in what what's we need a grappling hook is what we need. So I say we go back into town and stock up on some supplies. Gods keep you. Okay, the common room costs us nothing. That's pretty cool. Oh, camping supplies. Okay, so how many can we buy? Spear is pretty good. A quarter staff. Hmm. Your sleep is restless and fevered, assaulted by hisses and whispers, blanketed with a suffocating anxiety. You open your eyes to awaken and find yourself in front of gilded veils, gallows tree, the creaking of its ropes growing louder in your mind until the sound is deafening. Hanging from the tree is an old dwarf woman whose face has shriveled inward like smoldering fruit, like moldering fruit. That must be the, uh, the animancer who tried to help the uh, Lord with, uh, I don't know, some assistance with, with the, uh, uh, the, the soulless children he birth his wife births. Her head hangs limply to one side and you look at her. She looms larger and larger in your mind until she is mere inches from your face. Suddenly her head snaps up and her eyes open and they are empty and behind them is a vast nothingness that makes your stomach drop her mouth slowly parts and with a gust of rancid air she speaks a word watch her you jolt awake the foul smell of the dwarf woman's breath still permeating your nostrils sweat runs down your face in thick droplets and your skin is soaked from head to toe you remember the woman you remember seeing her decaying face when you spoke with the magistrate he called her an animancer. Though it fills you with a new, queasy apprehension, you feel a strange compulsion to see this woman once more, if only to confirm she is truly dead. Okay. Alright. I want to buy a grappling hook. Does he not sell a, gra a grappling hook? 
Hail, traveler. Does she not sell a grappling hook? No grappling hooks. party management screen you can see what your allies are up to when they aren't in the party if you're assigned if you've assigned them to adventures you can see how long it will take for them to complete their assignment recalling a companion or adventurer from a mission before it is completed will forfeit all of the potential rewards for that assignment The dream told us to speak to the dwarf who's hanging from the tree. There she is. We'll do that in the next video. For now, I say, have a good life. <laughs>